Welcome back to Mom Saving Grace. Today I'm going to show you how to make gumbo without stirring a roux. Yes, that's right. So here I'm making filet gumbo. I have one cup of flour and I have a cup of oil. Use an oil of your choice. This is vegetable oil. I'm going to stir it to make sure it's really smooth. You'll see it's going to look like a paste. Um, but you want to get all the lumps and bumps out of it before you put it in a preheated oven at 385. So I'm getting it nice and smooth and then I'm going to throw it in there. Next, we're going to be on to our prep work. You're going to set it, fix it, and forget it, okay? Actually, 375, I'm sorry. For about 45 minutes, at about 40 minutes, you want to start checking the color. These are Louisiana Gulf shrimp that I brought home with me, but you can also get shrimp from all these, which I'll show you in a second. They're just better quality when they come from the Gulf and not imported and treated as with those easy peel shells. Those are pretty gross. You're going to pinch the vein out. It's really easy to clean them. Once you get the shell off, pinch the vein out and run it under some water. No need to split the shrimp in half. Use one of those tools. You don't need it, okay? So that's a quick short hack. These are the shrimp I got from Aldi. They're a bit better quality um, than the Easy Peel shrimp. So if you wanna look for something cheap, you can get those. They run about $5 a pound. Okay, so I got garlic. I got the Trinity here, which is garlic, green pepper, onions, and celery. I chop those up. You can put them in a chopper, pulse them, but don't make them finely chopped. You want a, a kind of a, a um, just a nice chop on them. Then these are boneless chicken, chicken thighs, skinless chicken thighs. And you see, I got my roux out by now. It's a rich, deep color, and you wanna add those veggies in there and the chicken thighs. Um, and then some chicken stock or shrimp stock in there. And saute them, and then we're gonna add those, um, I'm sorry, actually bone in chicken thighs is what you want because the bones add um, a little bit of flavor from the marrow. You can take the bones in after the gumbo is, bones out after the gumbo is done. So you saw I sauteed that, then I got the chicken thighs in there. Now I smoke my um, smoked meat that I get from the store. I like Koneka, Manda, or Double D, and then we cut them in small pieces. The smoke flavoring that we add to it just adds a little bit of extra flavor to it. Always adding your seafood last because it'll overcook. Normally we use blue crabs, but because I'm not in Louisiana right now, we used to use snow crabs and it turns out fine. Um, adding your shrimp and your snow crabs last. And last we top it off with some good filet, filet powder. I add um, a good two tablespoons in mine. Well, this evening, mustaches are Tony Sashery's fresh garlic and bay leaves. Join me next time on Mom Saving Grace. Like, share, and subscribe.